Storms are lining up nicely one after another after another throughout the eastern Pacific and a lot of the storm energy will have a little bit of an impact on Montana. The first system is very disorganized. It's certainly moving into the central Rockies trying to lift a little bit moisture up from eastern Idaho up into southwest Montana overnight and into tomorrow morning but there's a much better chance for cool wet weather to return by the weekend and into most of next week. But let's focus on the short term first and you can see a few hit and miss showers are possible Possible. but overnight there could be a little bit of snow trying to build up from the south and minor impact on that morning commute but just watch for a few early morning snowflakes in the afternoon the pattern gets a little more interesting with a stronger westerly flow and if we get enough warmth to occur there could be some scattered showers and isolated small thunderstorms rumbling and some higher mountain snow in there as well but that'll taper by Thursday morning and they'll all returns again by the time we get into the weekend so storm number one does bring a chance for mainly mountain snow showers with minor accumulations around Big Sky, bigger impacts out around Cook City and, and inside Yellowstone National Park. So this will have a little bit of an impact, minor impact on mountain passes for some wintry travel concerns this evening into tomorrow morning.